welcome to Let's Talk MacArthur and our very first monthly bonus episode with Wakeling Automotive Group and Scott Wakeling. Uh, in these sessions, uh, Scott will be bringing to us some updates on Wakeling Automotive and any industry news that is appropriate that you might be interested in. Uh, hi, Scott. How are you doing? Hey, mate. Really good. How are you going? Yeah, very well. It's been a, been a busy week, so uh, happy to be able to take a little bit of time out from normal work and, and do this. I really enjoy these sessions. What's been yeah. happening with Wakeling? Oh, well, personally, been enjoying a bit of the sunshine and doing some uh, lockdown projects. Um, we've been we've been building some pallet furniture at home, which has been a bit of fun. Um, but at, uh, at a work sense, we had a really big week last week. Um, after a series of delays, we'd uh, decided to move our uh, staff awards night to an online environment. Um, so we'd been filming secretly for the past month or two, um, different bits and pieces. And last Thursday night, we had our very first virtual uh, Wakeling Automotive Awards Night. So last year was we had to do them in showrooms separate with distancing. This year we'd booked venues and we were ready to rock. Uh, and obviously with lockdown that, that went away. So we, we transitioned to the digital thing, like much like what we're doing now where we can get together um, over distances safely. So um, we had uh, a YouTube video prepared. Um, we sent it to our staff seven o'clock last Thursday. We sat back with the popcorn. Um, we had our internal Facebook page going and there were lots of comments from staff circulating. It was a really good environment. There was photos of people in pyjamas on couches and eating cheese and wine and, um, you know, other departments had set up their own Zoom um, meeting watching it as well. So uh, it was a really good night. We had um, over, we've got about 400 staff in the group. Um, so it's always challenging to try and communicate to them at one time anyway. And we had over, I think, 200 and 250 live views of it uh, on the night, um, which was really good. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and great to get some of that uh, engagement straight away through the chat features. Um, Excellent. So you can see what's what's going on. So that, that, that's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So, so what's, what... I didn't realise there was the YouTube chat going on at the same time as the Facebook chat. And I was kind of <laughs> <laughs> was like, where do you go? <laughs> well, you, you need to have something dedicated to watching that while, yeah. while you're doing the other bits and pieces. Yeah. So, so what's what? How did you adapt the format for the the sit down big four hundred people yeah. uh, event? So yeah, we, we like to celebrate uh, people's length of service. We call it tenure. Um, so we normally a night like this would go for probably four or five hours because we have so many people come up on stage. This one for twenty minutes. We wanted to keep it nice and concise. So uh, we celebrated the five year tenures. We had uh, Sam Froling from the Elra Hawks present those in a pre recorded. Um, list of people that got through there I think there was about 16 or 17 of those nice uh, then we had uh, our old mate John Scandalis present the 10 year uh, tenure recipients I think there was about a dozen of those as well and then we had a surprise announcement with uh, a newly signed ambassador for us who's a guy by the name of Tyler Harvey who's the Illawarra Hawks uh, MVP last year and their um, marquee import for the next three years so we've formed a relationship with him and from Seattle he sent down a pre-recorded video list for our 15 and our 20 year tenure recipients. So they were pretty stoked. There was a few, a few pronunciation issues, but um, it was good fun. <laughs> that, 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 that's awesome. It adds an extra element to, to what's happening yeah. the night. So it's yeah, just good. good. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. A, that's a lot to squeeze into a, a 20 minute um, session. So what, what awards do you actually, apart from the tenure um, yeah. terms, uh, what, what awards do you award on the night? So then for each of our locations, so we split the business up into four main ones. So Poitham Motor Group represents the Campbelltown businesses. Canter Valley Motors is Canter Valley Motors. Mossvale Motor Group incorporates that and the Alan McKay Auto Group. And then City Motors Group, which is our Illawarra businesses. So we had four sites where we then nominate uh, and the managers throughout the year nominate rookies of the year and uh, nominations for employee of the year. So each site had a rookie uh, of the year who's someone who's been with us less than 12 months and then uh, uh, employee of the year. So again, we had some real characters nominated in that. Um, for example, Amy, who's one of our recent videos in Kia was a, a rookie of the year uh, along with Olsen at Campbelltown. And her and her family were in, you know, as I mentioned before, pajamas with signs, you know, cheering, cheering her on. And when she won, that was great. Um, and then the employees of the year were pretty special too. Um, we had uh, four of them were uh, Anita from our fleet department at Cameltown. So she's featured in one of our videos previously. She's been with us for about five or six years. Uh, who else was there? At Camden, Andrew Mansell from our parts department um, was a recipient. He's one of those quiet achiever guys. Uh, and then the other two, uh, Mossfile was Brendan Alliston uh, and City Motors Group was Eliza Cullen. So again, their families were there watching and, and uh, partaking in the celebration. That's great. 
we then we then have uh, normally one more award, which is our manager of the year. Um, and because of the business's scale and complexity, we added a few uh, uh, tiers to that this year. So we had uh, four in total. One was a surprise. Um, so George was our sales excellence manager of the year. He runs uh, the sales guy, sales team down at Shell Harbour. Uh, Todd Hill was our winner for fixed operations. He runs our parts department at Mosfile. Uh, and then uh, Peter Kingsley was our overall manager of the year. She uh, supervises the administration department. And as you'd appreciate, all those guys have had horrible years in terms of dealing with all sorts of things like everyone has so it was good to give them that recognition and then we had a sneaky one which was our administration uh, excellence award and we gave that to Alana Sitch who's our marketing coordinator so it was sneaky because Alana is one of those people that won't ever put a hand up for praise and is very shy and also was also editing the video yeah. so I had to let her edit the nude video and then I prepared a second one, <laughs> uh, which, we dropped, which we dropped at the end. So she was all, all didn't have any idea about it. So it was really good. So um, it was a good night. Just really going, how, how did you make that happen? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Uh, I think it's actually a public video now. I think it's gone public. If you search for it, you might be able to find it. But um, yeah, we had a good time. It was good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I actually got to see some of the awards that were given out because you released them. I think it was on the 16th, yeah, 17th yeah. of September on Facebook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, which was really great. And I saw the, the one for Alana there and I think, yeah. oh, that's really nice. So, that, that's good. Yeah. No, it's good very good. person one day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be great when you can get the whole team back together for, for the yeah. big uh, awards night. Um, yeah. But it, really, really pleasing to see businesses are still getting everybody engaged and and not yep. just putting this sort of stuff to the side. I think it's really, really important for them uh, to have that engagement with the business. And I know you guys do a great job with your culture. Yeah, there, so I think it's, just, and it's important to share those successes as well. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Excellent. So how, how are you traveling with uh, your used cars at the moment under this current um, situation with click and collect? Yeah. Is that a dog in your background? <laughs> it is, mate. <laughs> there must be, there must be a delivery at the front. I door. love it. <laughs> 12 years old and she thinks she's still a, a two-year-old pup so yeah, they all do they're great yeah. fun um yeah used cars are going okay i guess in in the scheme of things uh, as you as you know uh with supply being tight the last sort of 12 to 18 months the market's really turned itself on its head and our ability to generate those used trades has diminished somewhat the past few months because uh, the volume is down in terms of people buying new cars but we've been able to acquire a fair amount of good stock um the things that are happening that are a little bit different, I guess we're now used to it, is just the, um, the searching online is far more prevalent, obviously. Um, we're doing more videos to present those vehicles and we're showing the safety checks and all that sort of stuff. And pleasingly, we're still delivering, you know, not quite the num number of cars you'd ever want to, but uh, quite a good volume of used cars across the group and still maintaining that throughput for the guys, which has been, uh, which has been good. Yeah, the reason I ask specifically on used cars, because it's normally used cars, very touch and feel. Right, so yeah, people definitely. people like to be able to to drive and to test drive them and, and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And in the current situation, it's very hard to do. So the use of videos, um, yes. and we were talking just before about the effectiveness of videos, is is so important. Yeah. Uh, and and having that certification process and that quality check process and yeah. having the reputation to be able to deliver on what it is that you're actually. I think, so, yeah, I think that peace of mind is is historically, you know, we've built our business up to main, maintain that, you know, highly ethical, good quality business, and you can rely upon that. Um, we've been doing videos actually pre-pandemic, but obviously that sort of um, uh, amped itself up. And so what typically happens these days is someone might make an inquiry online through our website, through car sales, for example through Facebook um, or even through email, the guys will get you know, the details of the vehicle that the customer's looking at. We can do online appraisals quite easily. We can go through that process quite well for finance. Um, and then we'll go through the vehicle. And so the guys will get you know, the camera out and they'll walk you through the vehicle and show you all the, if there are minor imperfections, they'll show you those as well as the things that are great about the car. And there's nothing to hide. It's all very um, clear and above board. Uh, and then you've got that peace of mind afterwards. So, um, yeah, I'd obviously, like we'd like to have more volume and we'll get that when the restrictions ease. And I'm sure everyone will be looking forward to that. But probably my message for that now would be, and also for the new car space, would be if you are considering a vehicle that you should start now uh, engaging with us because we can get further down that journey for when the doors open. And if you're confident you can buy now, that's fine. A lot of the new car manufacturers as well have supplier constraints. So in order to get yourself into that queue, we're going to need to have you inquiring now so that when you can get that first opportunity to, to get it. So it could be that, for example, you want to test drive the next 
you know, Sorrento, for example, mm -hmm. or the Sportage or, you know, the Tiguan or the T-Rock, the T-Cross. Um, so we can um, facilitate as much as we can now, get you uh, committed to a vehicle uh, with your ability to then test it uh, before you actually place the order firmly, when restrictions open and we're ready to rock and you're a month ahead rather than two months behind. Yeah, good good advice. So you've got a lot of manufacturers uh, in the Wakeling Automotive Group. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's quite expansive and, and ranging from the mass-produced vehicles to prestige vehicles. Yeah. Um, with all the, the variants of the manufacturers that you've got, how are you finding where your lead times are going to be for these? Uh, very, each of them are a bit unique and it's unique within their own ranges. So, you know, I was on a, a Kia Zoom just before this one and they spoke about the new models that are coming for them. And, you know, so they're going to be, you know, X months away, whereas you look out here and you've got, you know, hundreds of cars potentially straight away. So it'll depend upon what type and what spec, um, you know, Mercedes produced cars at a longer lead time, Volkswagen are quite long coming from Europe as well. Um, the Koreans are typically if in normal trading environments within two months from factory order and they used to have a lot of cars on the ground that you could get access to straight away. It just depends on the one that you're after. If it's one of those ones where we've got to place an order on the factory, it may be you know, three to six months, uh, in some cases up to 12 months, depending upon the limited um, engines, for example, for Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, or if it's the one on the ground here, then you can have it in 24 hours. Yeah. So the best advice is just contact the uh, the sales showroom and ask the questions and yeah. each individual showroom will be able to give you the right advice. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Very, very good. Well, it's exciting times ahead because I think when we do open up, you, you guys yeah. are going to be extremely busy. Yeah, we've, um, and, and what we've, we've as, you, as we spoke about before, we've had people in the showrooms and enabling the click and collect process and taking inquiries. And we've had a number of people at home and so part of our thinking in the next four weeks is to make sure that everyone's well rested because <laughs> because when those floodgates are open, the guys that have been doing the hard slog for two months, they're going to hopefully not be too tired and ready to rock and make sure that we have that good level of customer satisfaction that we pride ourselves on. Yeah, fantastic. And you've got some new models uh, coming up to us, all the, the new Kia yeah. Sportage uh, being uh, previewed on, yeah, on, was, on TV last night. It looks that was fantastic. This morning. Yeah, it's a good looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Excellent, Scott. Well, mate, I look forward to uh, to catching up again next month yep. um, with some more Wakeley Automotive Group news uh, and industry news. And um, until then, mate, rest up, get ready for, for us opening all back up again. And I hope yep. the next month trades well for you. Keep an eye on our socials for our next driving in MacArthur's. There's a few coming that are going to be great. Beautiful. Look forward to it. All right. Be good. See you. Thank you. Thanks. All right.